Kutsia didn't, didn't confess because he was sorry. He confessed because he had to preserve himself. Investigative journalist Jacques Poe spent countless hours interviewing Dirk Kutsia about the shocking crimes he and his secret police unit committed in the early 80s. Poe published three books, largely based on the horrific revelations Kutsia made after he left the Flock Plus police unit. He started telling me about um, ANC prisoners they executed. And there were two of them, Vusi and Peter, who were taken out of the cells. They were taken to the Kumati River in, uh, in Pumalanga. And on the banks of the, the, the Kumati River, they were executed. They were shot dead. And then their bodies were burnt on a pyre of wooden tires, while the policemen, a few, a few meters away, had their own braai and gorged themselves on, on, on rum and brandy. And when I think about Kutsia, and when I, when I try and tell myself, you know, you know let's re try and remember the good in Der Kutsia, this, this vision of the policemen drying their meat next to the, next to the body of the ANC, it will always stay with me. In order to publish Poe's first book, Kutsia begged to leave the country in 1989. Jacob Zuma, who headed the ANC intelligence at the time, agreed to look after Kutsia for two years in London if he spilled the beans. The irony is, is when Kutsia came back to the country in, uh, in 1992, he was a very embittered man because he was never accepted by the ANC. Although they looked after him and they protected him, he never, he never became a part of the ANC. Of course not. I mean, what he had done was too, was too terrible. And he also thought for some bizarre reason that he's going to become the future commissioner of police, or at least a very senior rank in the police, which of course never happened. Poe says, though, South Africans mustn't forget how Kutsia shed light on a very dark part of the country's history. If it wasn't for Dirk Kutsia, Eugene Le Coq would not have been in prison. If it wasn't for Dirk Kutsia, we wouldn't have known what we, what we know today. So. You know, despite who he was and what he did, we, I suppose we have to acknowledge the role he played. But, Poe says even after all the secrets were out, Kutsia would often brag to him that if he remained commander of the unit for longer, he would have killed many more people. Paula Charles, Cape Town.